Hey, Marikar. Uh, John came early. No one's here yet. <laughs> Obviously, you're missing class. Shame on you. But uh, you have a good excuse. I guess it's work related. But um, anyway, I'm not going to record the whole class because it's just too long. Uh, 90 minutes. I'm just not going to do that. I don't have enough space on my iPhone anyway. But one of the topics we're going to cover is how to separate faces from geometry. All right. So what I recommend you do is that you just watch what I'm about to do on screen here, but you have to Google, go on YouTube and just do a search on Blender separate faces. Okay. So here we go. Quick review. I'm going to apply two different materials to the stem and the apple. Actually, um, I'm gonna ask John to hold up this tripod. John, can you just do me a favor and just be the yeah. camera guy? All right. Can be. Okay. So take a look here. I'm gonna go to the material menu, and I have the stem selected. You can see the stem is orange. If I hit decimal point, I zoom in on it. I'm gonna create a new slot, like you remember from last week. I'm gonna create a new material. I'll rename this stem. And for diffuse, I'm gonna change this to brown. So that means orange but dark orange is brown. Let me zoom back out, I'll select the apple, and of course I'll create a new material. See there's a new slot right there. Apple, and I'll just make this apple red. Okay, so that's just a quick review. Now, let me open up a different file here. I'm gonna open up um, just a regular apple here. So this is one exercise that you're gonna, we're gonna do today. If I switch to edit mode, let me turn off this ghosting button right here, because it looks kind of weird. I'm gonna hit A to deselect all, and I'm gonna, this is gonna take a, a long time, but I'm gonna ask you to just practice navigating, practice orbiting around. Look at how I'm selecting all the faces for the stem, okay? So here's the main, here's one of today's main lessons, which is how to separate geometry. Okay, I'm gonna hit Z for wireframe, and you can see that that's all I have selected is those stem faces. And all you do is you just hit the letter P and choose separate by selection. Okay, now before I actually activate that, let me show you this outliner here. Take a look at how there's the apple, okay? Once I hit separate, you're gonna see two objects appear because I'm separating it into two things. So I hit P while I'm in edit mode. That's what's important, P. I choose separate by selection. All of a sudden I have apple and then apple one. There it is, the stem is now separated from the apple, okay? So that's, the, that's one of the main exercises. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> 